Well, you're, you're first. Well, well, thank you all for, for coming back from the break. Um, this next session um, really follows very well from what we just heard. Um, and uh, because, of course, everything sort of comes together as we think about how to translate uh, these uh, lab advances to patients with cancer. And of course, that's why we're all here. So this is session 1B. Um, I'm Roy Herbst from Yale University. I'll be your moderator. And uh, we're going to focus on the science of cancer research, diagnostic and therapeutic development, and clinical trials. So this is a broad topic. Um, but what we've done is we've brought together a, a team that includes uh, representatives from academia, um, from the regulatory, from, from FDA, from NCI, uh, and from industry. So we really have a panel that can answer many of the questions that are so critical to how we're going to collaborate, how we're going to use this new genomic information, how we're going to do the proper regulatory um, uh, uh, filings, and how we're going to then use this uh, information to help patients. So what we're going to do is we're going to have each person speak. Some will use slides, some will not, uh, for about eight minutes. Um, and we'll take one or two burning questions um, after each talk, but really limit that because we'd like to have about 20 to 25 minutes of discussion at the end. So with no further ado, I, I'd like to um, introduce the first speaker who's well known to um, almost everyone here, Dr. James Dorishow, uh, who's the Deputy Director for Clinical and Translational Research at the NCI, where he's been in that position since 2001. He's been at the NCI since 2004 prior to that at the City of Hope, and of course, he's, he's involved both in basic and uh, clinical translational research, and he'll start us off by telling us a little bit about his perspective uh, from the NCI. Uh, 